Hey, this is Lucas, and I uh, wanted to show this little uh, Millwright MVN. It's a U.S. Burke MVN, nice little Millwright mill. And I wanted to show uh, something that I came up with here to uh, help tram it in and set the angle of the head. So the, the head, uh, is, it will tilt, and uh, because it's top-heavy, it tends to want to tip over. So when you loosen up the four bolts here, uh, the four the nuts on the studs, and uh, this thing will... will tip and uh, might end up out of control. So something that I came up with here is, uh, is this bracket. And the bracket uh, picks up one of the uh, studs for the uh, locking mechanism for the tilt and the uh, quill lock. So uh, I've got this Indicol uh, indicator holder on, on, the, uh, on the table right now, or on the column rather. And uh, we're going to just bring this up until we get a, a reading on, on, the, uh, on the system. Uh, I'm going to loosen up the uh, all the studs here so that the column is uh, is loose and uh, this this piece is just one of the uh, pull down studs for the for the table so uh, because that ends up sliding in this in this uh, bushing uh, we can now manipulate the position of the head using the x-axis lead screw. So well, let's do that. Uh, let's keep an eye on. We're going to keep an eye on this uh, on this indicator. <coughs> so now, if we if we crank this around, we end up uh, essentially tilting that head back and forth by the action of the stud on the head. So it's actually pivoting the bottom this way and that way. Now. It's just, it's, it's not completely locked up. There's some flexibility in the stud, and there's also some, some clearance between the bushing and the stud. So that's why we have enough room to actually swing it. So now uh, we've got this at about 50. And we're going to then uh, just pivot this around to the other side, and we'll check it over here. And we'll see, we should be pretty close to, uh, to 180 degrees. And we're off by a few thousands, but uh, that's something that we can now correct. So uh, here we're at like 60, 55. So I'm going to split the difference. Now we're at 52. So let's uh, let's bring it back to the other side once again. And we'll see how it looks over here. And now we're within a oh about a thousand. So we're at 55. Let's. Uh, Bring it right to about there. So we're within a thousandth over that, uh, you know, the whole diameter here, which is about, uh, yeah, it's, it's looking right on now, uh, which is a very nice large radius. So we, we're taking this uh, this radius and actually swinging it. So uh, that that head is in, in good tram now, at least in, in this axis, so the, the X axis. There's also tramming that one should do in the y-axis, but there's really no system for setting that up on this mill. Uh, the bridge ports have a knotting arrangement right here. should point out, too, that the bridge ports have a, uh, a lead screw and a worm in the, in the head that uh, basically accommodates this whole process, and you don't have to add this bracket. So the bridge port's uh, very well set up for this, but this being a much lighter, smaller, cheaper mill, it doesn't have that uh, nice adjustment feature that the bridge port has. So anyway, that's a, a good way to, to uh, control the head, makes the uh, tramming in process safer, not only for you, but for your equipment, and then uh, also gives you a degree of control and accuracy that's very hard to match. Uh, without using a bracket like this. I'll get a quick close-up of the bracket. So that's it. Nothing to it. I notched this out so we have one more stud to control the uh, uh, to, to lock it down as we're uh, as we're running. Uh, one additional thought. Uh, I would not leave this bracket in place uh, while the mill is in use. This is only for tramming. It's pops on and off quite easily. Uh, take this bolt out, take this nut off, pop it on, uh, set up a stud, reverse process, take it off, and then it's out of the way.
So uh, this would not be a, a permanent fixture on the mill, just uh, temporarily added for the tramming in process or adjusting the angle. Uh, one other uh, comment, uh, one could replace this stud with a uh, pivoting, uh, a block with a pivot, uh, uh, like an eye bolt in it, let's call it, that would allow uh, uh, an angle on this. Then you could actually set the head at angles other than 90 degrees. So uh, it's got that versatility. Okay, hey, this is Lucas, signing off.